Hey fellow Garage Golfers, rolling here with Garage Golf, where we provide extraordinary golf info for the extra ordinary golfer. Today's video, it's all about testing out these brand new irons I just got, courtesy of the Global Golf You Try It program. Stay tuned and check it out. Okay, welcome back and thank you for watching this video. So I wanted to give you guys an idea a little bit of what we'll be doing in this video. I wanted to show you the irons that I ordered through the Global Golf You Try It program. So first of all, if you're not familiar with the Global Golf You Try It program, let me tell you a little bit about it. You can actually check out clubs for 14 days before you actually have to buy them. It's a really, really cool program, something that I've been wanting to test out for a while. So in this case, I actually ordered the Cobra King F9 one lane clubs so the appeal of this club to me is that it's the same setup throughout the entire bag it's actually a five iron all the way to a gap wedge and they're all seven iron length so i'm going to do things a little bit different in this video number one the global golf you try it program they have different things that you can try you can actually test out an entire bag if you wanted to which i really like but you can test out a driver for 25 dollars, a hybrid for the same price a three wood or any kind of wood for the exact same price a putter, also for $25, or you can test out an entire iron set like I'm doing today, take it on the actual golf course, and test it out for up to 14 days before you have to decide if you want to buy it. Now the cost of an iron demo is $100, so you want to be pretty sure that it's something that you're very serious about buying. So in my case, I'm going to be pitting this Cobra F9 one length club against my Callaway X Forge irons, and I'm going to do things a little bit different on this video. Uh, I'm going to take it out to the actual golf course and try to show you guys some footage of that, if at all possible. It's a little bit harder to get uh, actual footage on the golf course just because there's people all around, but we're going to see what we can do on that. And then second, I'm going to actually do a full bag fitting on this set. So I'm curious to see with a 5-iron that's a 7-iron length if I'm going to be getting the same distance as a 5-iron that's a little bit longer with the uh, Callaway X-Forge set. So I'm going to actually do a full bag fitting for this entire set from the 5 iron all the way to the gap wedge. And I'm going to actually do the same thing with my set now, which is the Callaway X-Forge. And we're going to show you at home what the numbers look like. So it's definitely something I'm excited to do. I'm excited to test out for you guys. We'll get that coming up to you real soon. All right, so I was actually lucky enough to get out there on a weekday afternoon on a slow day. And I was able to get some course footage for you guys. I went ahead and added the shot tracer to give you a better idea on what I was doing. So here we have an eight iron shot that hit the green. Um, I took several shots throughout the day and I replaced my hybrid with this five iron, which I really love. So here you see a five iron shot advancing it down the fairway. I tend to hit that five iron about 190 to 205, which is really good for me. Here you see a seven iron shot, a little bit long off the back right of the green there. Same shot again. Now this time I actually hit right in the middle of the green, so don't let the shot tracer fool you. Hard to control that thing sometimes, but that's actually a good shot, and I'm gonna take claim on that one for sure. Here's another five iron shot, just advancing the ball. That five iron shot was just really easy to hit instead of a hybrid at that seven iron length, so that's really, really nice. I like that a lot. Here's a couple more seven iron shots. Here I hit the left side of the green. So it does take some time to dial in distances and get the fill for these clubs at the same length, but really, honestly, in less than two rounds of golf, I've really got a good feel for them. I'm really liking them. So it's definitely something I've been enjoying. Here you see another shot. This one comes up slightly short, but right towards the front of the green. So, you know, it's right where I want it to be at least. And obviously the distances as far as making good contact, I was doing that almost all day long. So I really, really enjoyed that. See some awesome enthusiasm there. Here's the 18th hole. I hit a couple of shots on this one. This one hit the green, but rolled off the back. And um, then I have another one coming up here, as you see. And I'll let my reaction kind of show you what happened on this one. But I hit the front of the green and it rolled down the hill. And this hole I absolutely hate every time I play it over that water. It's a very daunting shot. Normally would hit a hybrid. I hit a six iron and hit the green on this one. So I was really, really happy about that. Lastly, chipping. It does take some time to get used to those longer clubs. I'm not going to lie about that. But over time, you do get the hang of that. And it's something that you get a nice little feel to. They chip really nice around the green. This is a gap wedge I was using. And um, overall, I got the hang of it. So let's take you back to the simulator and give you some more shots. 
Okay, so here we are back in the simulator, and this is going to be for the Callaway X Forge. I'm going to go ahead and do a full bag mapping for the Callaway X Forge, and that's going to be from a four iron all the way through a gap wedge. And as you see, I'm going to do five shots per club. And out of those five shots, I'm going to take the top three shots in regards to the bag mapping and the data that we get from that. So what we'll do now is we're going to hit some shots with the Callaway X Forge. Then we'll move over to the Cobra F9s and give you some data in the end and result of both of those bag mapping features that we do. So I'm about two shots into my nine iron, and so far I've had a really good day of hitting. So I think those F9s are going to have a little bit of work to catch up to what I'm used to with these Callaways, but let's keep on hitting. Okay, so we finished the bag mapping for the Callaway X Forge. Now I want to set up a bag mapping for the Cobra F9 Speedback one length. And in this case, it's only going to be seven clubs. So we're going to go from the five iron to the gap wedge. Uh, so we're missing that one. I may later on, if I decide to keep these, I may order a four iron. But for now, five iron is carrying pretty good from what I've seen. So we're going to go ahead and start with the five iron, work our way all the way up to the gap wedge and see what we're looking at and be able to compare those two side by side in the end. So. We're going to start with the five iron, we're going to hit five shots per club, we're going to take the best three again, we're going to leave everything else the way that we had it before, now we're just going to click apply, and we'll go ahead and start that bag mapping at this point. Alright, so we're going to start with the five iron again, with the Cobra F9 Speedbacks, one length, and uh, one thing I forgot to talk to you guys about is the cool Cobra Connect sensors, as you can probably see there. So every club in this set comes with the Cobra Connect sensors. And you can actually download the application. It's free for 90 days. They do require a credit card up front, so I'm not really too keen on that. But they do require a credit card up front. If you cancel within 90 days, it's free. If you forget, they'll charge you, I think it's $99 for the year to use these. But you can use it with the Arcos Golf System or the Arcos Caddy app. And it'll actually track all your shots on the golf course. So if you're interested in that, take a look at these. They're really cool. If you don't have something already that does a feature like that for you, it's something to look into. It's pretty neat, these Cobra Connect sensors. So let's go ahead and get started with the bag mapping now. We'll show you the numbers in the end, see how we do. Okay, so one of the things I definitely noticed right away is the thickness of the club. As you can see, what you're looking at here is the five iron. So you can tell, you can see the cavity back behind it. So it's going to give you a little bit of confidence at address. Here in the middle, you'll see the seven iron. So you can see a little bit behind the club. And then, of course, this is going to be the pitching wedge. You don't really see much of the back there. Uh, the flex, it is a KBS 90 stiff so kbs 90 stiff so i'm gonna get you a good shot of it there actually that's a tour 120s that's the pitching wedge so i think they change the uh the stiffness as you go through the middle to upper irons here so kbs tour 90 stiff for the seven iron and kbs tour 90 stiff or tour 80 stiff for the five iron so Five irons tour 80 stiff, seven iron is tour 90 stiff. See if I can focus in on that. Tour 90 stiff. Yep. And then the pitching wedge is the 120 stiff. So I noticed that the middle irons, the five and six irons, they tend to have a little bit more flex than what I'm used to on the Callaway X Forge. Now my swing speed, as you can see from the video, isn't all that fast, but I definitely feel the difference as far as, you know, the amount of flex I'm feeling in the backswing. So 
And as a result of that, I'm starting to see some of the club, you know, go left, some of it spray a little bit to the right. So it's not so far, it hasn't been as accurate as it's been on the Callaway X Forge, but let's go ahead and keep going through this and see what the total numbers look like in the end. Okay, so last club of the day, I got the gap wedge, got five more shots to go. What I've been seeing is the lower I get as far as pitching wedge, even nine iron, it seems like it's a little bit easier to hit them. Uh, the length doesn't seem to bother me. But if anything, I actually think I'm hitting it maybe a little shorter than I was hitting the Callaway X-Forge with the shorter iron. So it may just be me, but let's take a look in the end. Let me get these five last shots done and then we'll take a look at the numbers. that all day long. All right, now 90 shots down. Let's look at both set of bag mapping and let's see what we're looking at in the end here. All right, so before we jump into the bag mapping and the numbers, I think it's, it's very important to say that we are comparing two different type of clubs. The Cobra F9 Speedbacks are gonna be what you would call a game improvement club whereas the Callaway X-Forge is more of a player's club. So one of the biggest differences between the two is that the lofts are different. So the 4-iron, for example, on the Callaway X-Forge is a 23, whereas the 5-iron on the Cobra F9 Speedbacks is a 22.5 degree. So you're basically hitting one club up from there. So if you're hitting a 5-iron, you're actually hitting truly a 4-iron with the Cobra clubs. And that's going to go all the way across the board as you see the different lofts there. Even all the way up until the pitching wedge. If you look at the pitching wedge on the X-Forge, it's 45 degrees. And it does start to get a little bit closer as you go down those clubs. But basically, pitching wedge on the Cobra F9 is a 44. So just to be comparative and keep this on an equal playing field, we got to keep that in mind as we're looking at some of these numbers and the distances that we're getting between clubs. Let's go ahead and jump into the numbers now. All right, so here we are to my favorite part of the video where I get to bore you with all these incredible numbers. We'll jump through this real quick. But I wanted to show you the bag mapping feature. So on the left, you're going to see the Callaway X-Forge. And on the right, we're going to see the Cobra F9 one lengths. So what we're really looking at is a couple things. Number one, we're going to be looking at our average club gapping. On the left, you'll see with the Callaway X-Forge, we're looking at about 12 yards. On the right, we're looking at about 14 yards per club. So that's going to be an average of all the clubs. But what we're going to be basically going through is showing you club per club, what kind of gaps are we getting? What kind of discrepancies are we getting per club? Uh, our closest gap with the Cobras was five yards and that was between the five and the six iron. And with the Callaways, it was four yards between the five and the six iron. So I tend to hit five and six irons uh, very close with either club, obviously. A little bit more of a gap though with the Cobra F9s. Average shot dispersion was 12 and a half yards with the Callaways, 18.6 yards with the Cobra. And my furthest gap was between my eight and my seven iron on both clubs. So we're seeing a trend here, obviously. 18 yards with the Callaways, 20 yards with the Cobra F9s. So and here you see the chart, just to kind of show you guys that cool SkyTrack bag mapping feature, it will break it down to you per club, how far you hit them across the screen, as you see here. And then it will also show you how far your gaps are per club. So that's really, really cool from SkyTrack as far as offering that feature. So let's go ahead and kind of show you a little bit overall as far as where these balls were going. Uh, with the Callaways, you see, I, I tend to hit a draw on average. So most of my clubs were drawn left of that target line. I did have actually one club with the Cobras on the right that was actually right of that target line, as you see here. And then again, it shows you what your shot tendency is, pull, what your shot shape tendency is. In my case, it's a draw. And my offline tendency is eight yards to the left with the Callaways and 10 yards to the left with the Cobras. So I'm not going to go through all these, but I just want to kind of show you really quick. If you wanted to kind of compare two sets of clubs you might be interested in, this is a really good tool to do. But on the left, you see the gap wedge. My average carry is 93 yards. On the right, the Cobras, my average carry is 92 yards. So what I'm going to show you is that the lower we go in that club set where we get to the wedges, they're going to start to even out a lot. Um, with the gap wedge, you see that my shot dispersion is 11 yards here on the right with those Cobras. And I was actually nailing those wedges pretty well 
with the Cowboys, obviously because I'm used to them as well. But I had a three-yard shot dispersion here on the left. Um, my offline tendency was seven yards and versus six yards with a Cobra. So those are pretty close. If we keep going, pitching wedge, 108 yards total carry, 108 yards with the Cobras, and 12-yard shot dispersion versus 15. So I actually hit the pitching wedge with the Cobra a little bit tighter than I did with the Callaways. And it will go all the way through it, so I'll just kind of give you guys an idea. 124 with the 9-iron with the Callaways, 127 with the Cobra. On the 8-iron, 141 with the Cobra versus 132 with the Callaways. 7-iron with the Callaways, 150 versus 161. We're going to start to see larger differences now because the lofts are going to be obviously different as we start going down up in that club set to higher numbers for the fours and the fives as far as the lofts lowering. We're going to start to see distances change. Six iron with the Cobras, 171. I actually carried my six iron with the Callaways, 165. So I did a pretty good job on that one. Five iron, 169 carry. Five iron with the Cobras, which is the lowest club I have as far as loft. 176 and if we go down to the four iron with the Callaways you're gonna see this is basically comparing two four irons side by side 177 versus 176 with the Cobra shot dispersion though I got to work on that with the with the Cobra 34 yards as you see here versus nine yards as you see here with those Callaways so really cool tool overall though I wanted to show you that bag mapping feature with both of them just because it's the first time I had honestly gone through it not only with one club one set of clubs but two set of clubs so I really do like that feature, uh, but I wanted to kind of give you guys an idea on what those shots were doing, what this bag mapping feature will do to let you compare different things as well. Because uh, overall, I think it's a really, really good tool that uh, if you're not using it, you should definitely try out. Because now I could take this out to the golf course and know exactly you know what I'm doing with these irons. If I go to take a shot, I'm going to be able to know you know what am I carrying these clubs on average. And we're really looking more at carry numbers than anything else because I think that's the most important aspect as far as what you're doing and how far you tend to carry a club. So uh, let me know what you think on this. I'd be interested to see your thoughts. And uh, let me know what you guys think as far as which might be the best set for me as well. All right, so we've taken a look at all the numbers. We've actually got it on the golf course and been able to test the Cobra F9 Speedback one length irons. So as you saw from the numbers initially, it was a little hard for me to control this iron up front. Even though you have the same stance with every swing, your mind plays tricks on you, wants you to swing a little bit harder because you feel the club is a little bit shorter with that five iron, that six iron. And, uh, but as you saw from the numbers though, every single club was going further with the F9 Speedback One Lake. Now part of that is because of the lofts that we talked about. Uh, but as we got to the pitching wedge and the gap wedge, we started, that, we started to see that kind of break off. In fact, the pitching wedge uh, for both clubs was dead even. And the gap wedge actually hit the Callaway X Forge one yard further on average than I hit the Cobra F9. Now, which one's easier to hit for me? Honestly, it's still up in the air, to be honest with you. So I think part of it is just getting used to that same stance every single time when you're hitting these. So I still got about a week left. Um, I'm thinking so far though, I'm gonna keep these. I really like them. If anything changes, I'll let you guys know, but I'm pretty happy with them. Uh, I like the extra confidence that, look how thick that sole of this club is. I mean. It's a lot thicker. Let me show you, for example. Okay, let me show you, for example. Look at the difference. This is the Callaway X Forge. This is the Cobra F9 Speedback. So, for somebody that's a mid handicapper like me, that extra bit of difference makes all the world. You know, it makes really a big factor as far as your confidence level. Now, again, I love both clubs. You know, I'm probably not even going to sell these. I'm probably just going to keep these and uh, see what happens over time. And if I don't like them, I'll sell them then, you know. So it's just a matter of figuring out which one's going to work best for me. I'm still about a 14 handicap either way right now. So, um, you know, I'll, I'd be happy to try these out, get a feel for them. And if not, you know, I'll return them or I'll try to sell them down the road. So they're actually not a bad price at around 700 bucks. To be honest, it's not a bad price at all. So I'm pretty happy with them. Uh, let me know your thoughts. What do you think? Uh, which one would you keep? Callaway X Forge or Cobra F9 Speedback One Link. I really had a great time testing them. I actually had an awesome time testing out the bag mapping feature. So now I know basically for each set of clubs how far I hit those distances. So now I'm actually going to save those distances on the Sky Caddy SX500 that I also use on a regular basis. So I know, okay, how far am I going to need to hit this shot now? Of course, outside in windy conditions, you know, that could be a one or two club length difference, especially here in Texas where it gets windy a lot. So 
Um, I'm looking forward to continuing to use both. For now, I'm saying they're staying in the bag. If anything changes down the road, I'll let you guys know. Uh, have you guys at home tried out the bag mapping feature for SkyTrack? It's definitely something I'd like to hear your thoughts on as far as what you've seen. And if you see any differences as far as what you see distance-wise on the SkyTrack versus what you see outdoors. So looking forward to hearing your thoughts on that. Let me know what you thought of the video. If you liked it, please give us a big thumbs up. We really appreciate that. If you have not yet done so, please consider subscribing to our channel for more videos like what you saw here today. Uh, please consider joining our Facebook page as you see down here, down here. Uh, and what we do on the Facebook page is we're able to talk to each other. So it's not just you leaving comments and me writing you back, but you're able to actually talk to all the other viewers of our channel, people that are interested in golf simulators, people that are interested in golf clubs like what you see in this video. It's a really cool forum, so please consider joining. And lastly, now if you guys at home want to start a golf simulator like what you see here, or if you just want to get started on a lower end, anything like that, please reach out to me. I'd love the opportunity to help you guys. Uh, I do have some contacts with different companies that provide golf mats, screens, things of that nature. And I know the good ones from the bad ones at this point. So please reach out to me. I'd love the opportunity to help you. And I'll point you guys in the right direction, whether, you know, I give you something that or will leave you somewhere where it will give me a commission or not. Honestly, that stuff doesn't matter to me. I just want to point you guys in the right direction, whether it's a product that I have a partnership with or a product that I don't. Either way, I'm going to give you honest feedback, and that's my guarantee to you guys at home. So that's why I started this channel. And uh, any money that I do make from referring you to places, it all goes back into the channel. So any kind of videos we can do, keep an eye out for an upcoming video we're going to be doing on the True Strike golf map. That's a new one that we'll be doing. And um, we'll have some more interesting things coming up in the near future. So... As always, thanks again for watching at home, guys, and keep on golfing.